हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल पार दोषी लर्निंग बाय डूइंग सो रिसेंटली आई हैव अपलोडेड फ्यू वीडियोस ऑन यू आई पाथ एप्स एंड डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स लाइक यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन राइट नाउ बिल्ड अ कॉन्टेक्ट एस पेज एंड इंटीग्रेट मैप्स देन डायनामिकली अपडेटिंग द चेक बॉक्स ऑन फाइल अपलोड दिस वॉज फॉर अ बेटर यूजर एक्सपीरियंस सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डू समथिंग न्यू सिंस यू माइट हैव ऑलरेडी सीन द टाइटल एंड क्लिक ऑन दिस वीडियो टू वॉच इट वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड एन एप where we can give user a certain set of access for example i have an app that has multiple pages and one of the pages is dashboard or let's suppose internal analytics data or something like that to which i want only specific users to access that particular page so if the user is not the one that has access should see a not access page or something like that we see multiple times in many of the pages that we try to access if it is internal right so we are going to create something that kind of an app and in this we will use obviously ui path apps but we will also use data service now how we are going to create this integration of ui path apps and data service and manage the accesses within the apps of certain pages is what we are going to see so let's get started as you can see on my screen right now i have created a inventory management portal now here there are the uh, username and password being asked that is customer login now let's suppose i am an admin and i want to go to an admin page right a particular person can be an admin as well but right now this is my customer email so if i click on go to admin page it is showing me you don't have admin access for the application please click the below button to navigate to customer login page so i'm going to click over here and i'm back on this screen right now i haven't built any login page or customer password validation or anything like that but we can build that kind of things but since this app is more focused on creating a role based app right so that is what we are going to focus here right now now what i'm going to do is i'm going to give myself admin access and i'm going to make it yes and then i'm going to again run the app and now if i go to admin page i can see the dashboard so through data service i have managed that i just changed from no to yes to allow me admin rights and i can now access this particular page this you can see there are some financial figures that have been mentioned there are internal data section title and all that kind of things right so this is how i used data service to manage the accesses how it is being integrated in the apps let's get started with that so i'll just talk about the basic structure that i have used so i've used a header container within that if you see i have used a button on an on click of an then button i'm opening a particular page now in main container i have two container that is one left and one right so when i click over here right what i want you to observe is the page name over here or the titles over here because that is what we that is why we name it clearly so that we understand so this is my left container in that there is an image and then there is this title then inventory management customer login as we can see text is there password is there and login is there here now since we have the updated text box we can use input type as text number or email that means it will automatically do the validation so i've used email current password i've just kept as text then there are two pages that i have created one is the admin page that i showed right now and the other is here for this i have just used a template so if you go here and click on page you will see this dashboard template so i have just used that i have not built it myself and access denied page that i have built it so here we had the button go to login page and on click of this it will go to the login page that is the main page so i have created an event now coming to how we are managing that access now to add a data service entity you have to click this down arrow you have to select ntd and you have to select whichever you want to it so i have created an entity called as inventory management access that is inv management access now let's see what is within that let me close this 
So here I created two additional fields. One is user email that is going to be text and then other is admin access that is going to be a yes or no a choice. So both are required definitely. Now the admin of the orchestrator or whoever has the access to data service can add or remove the users whenever they want. Right. So one thing that is the advantage of using data service over here, it is completely dynamic. You don't have to make any changes in the app as well or any process that you are using. Whichever users you want to give admin access, you can just add their emails over here and they will get access to that particular pages. So now here, if you see, there are two additional data fields that we have created or data columns, we can say user email and admin access. So you have to manage the access through this. Now, how this is being read in UiPath apps, we will see that. Now, coming back to my main page. Here is my go-to admin page and now comes the very important part. In events, I have created a rule. Now, what is that rule? Let's check that out. So what I'm doing is I'm using the user email. As we all know, there is a default variable within UiPath apps that is first name, last name and email. So you can use this email, which reads the system email that the user has logged into. So I'm using a lookup function. There are many basic videos that I've created that you can check in the UiPath apps playlist. The link will be there in the description. So lookup inventory management access and then user email. So what I'm doing is I'm taking user email to match the user email over here in the data service and taking the value of admin access that will give me true or false. So in app, it gives true and false, but in the data service, it is yes and no. So if my, this particular value is true, then I will open the admin page and let the user grant access to that. But if not, then I will go to access denied. So this becomes very simpler. Let's suppose if you have five pages, then you have to just create five functions that will create exclusive access for the users in your particular inventory management. Let's suppose I add this dashboard, then there is other a contact center or feedback kind of page where all the data, the feedback which is given is displayed through data service in the table format, right? So that is what we are doing over here. We are using data service. So it becomes a centralized database to manage the excesses of the user and then I can open a particular page on the basis that I want. So in this way, what I did is on click of a button, I created a rule using lookup function of data service where I'm using the email to match the email and then seeing the admin access. Then if it is true, then we are opening admin page and if not, then we are doing access denied page. So these are the two pages that we have designed over here, as you can see admin page and the access denied page, right? So this is how you create a role based app right here. I'm managing the accesses through data service that becomes my centralized database to manage that. And then in app, it's just on a click of a button, you create a rule and that's it. You have created a role based access app where you can give access to specific pages, not applying to the complete app, but yes, you can give app access, but not specific page accesses. So this is how you create a role based UI path app using data service. Thank you for watching the complete video. I hope this video helped you understand and build a role based app. If you have any questions with respect to there, or if any specific requirement that you would like me to build in UI path app and show that as a use case or a tutorial, please free to feel free to comment down and see you in the next video.